All right, this is the first video for linear regression, also known as line of best fit. Now I have my original boy's height here, and suppose I collect some more information from them, such as their points per game average. Okay, so once again, you can put this video on pause and enter in these datas into list two. Okay, this is the seventh uh, point average here, and this is going all the way to the 12th, okay? Now, this is their point average per game. Now the assumption uh, that most people have is that the taller you are, uh, the better you are at basketball or the more points you are going to score. And so what linear regression kind of does is it um, sees if there's a relationship between someone's height and their point, uh, points per game average. Okay, So we would, we would kind of have a conjecture here or make an assumption that the taller you are, the more points you're going to score, the more minutes you're going to play, and so forth. Now we know that there are exceptions to that, but uh, I just made up these numbers at random, and I have a, a hunch that the taller the person is, the more points they're going to score. And so based upon this data here, we're going to find a linear, um, we're going to do actually going to do a scatter plot of this and see if it has a positive correlation or a negative correlation. So since I want to do a statistical graph, I'm going to go to my stat plots. Okay. Now I have two turned on because I did uh, box plots previously. So I only have to have one plot turned on. So I'm going to turn off plot two. Okay. And I'm going to go back to plot one and I'm going to make sure that's turned on there. Now I want to do a scatter plot. Now a scatter plot is just a, it looks like a pepper graph with just a bunch of uh, X, Y points graphed on there. So I'm going to highlight that, hit enter. Now notice that once I do that, it wants to know a, 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 an X list and a Y list. So it's going to put both of these graphs on there at the same time. Uh, I, actually both of these X and Y values. Now list one, that is my boy's height, and list two is my points per game average. So that is the independent variable, that is the dependent variable, x causes y. And uh, they give us an option here to choose what type of dots we want, because sometimes you're going to want to do two scatter plots at the same time and not confuse the two. So I'm going to do little holes here, little dots here. Now notice when I hit graph, um, this is the dimensions of my previous box plot, but I'm going to do zoom 9 and it's going to give me a nice scatter plot there. So as we can see as x gets bigger, y gets bigger, it kind of has a positive correlation to it or a positive relationship. 